Welcome mindful parents. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some tips on how I reduce the use of plastic in my home. The first way that I reduce plastic is switching from plastic bags to reusable bags. So I use bags like this and I try my best to keep them in the car so I don't forget them. And if I did forget them, I usually tell the cashier that I do not want any bags. Another thing that I used to use a lot, which was the produce plastic bags. They're the thin uh, see-through bags. And um, I switched to these reusable uh, reusable bags. So they come in different sizes and I take them with me like I take the plastic, the reusable bags to use for my produce. And they're see-through so they can see inside them. The third thing that I have reduced was lunch boxes. So now we've switched to stainless steel lunch boxes. Actually, we've been like this for about three years so now. So this is one of the lunch boxes that I have. It has compartments. And I also uh, have the Planet Box uh, lunch boxes. We've also switched all our water bottles to stainless steel water bottles. The fourth thing that we have switched are stainless steel straws. My second son loves straws. And it was really bothering me that we had straws in the house. And that's when we, as a family, decided to buy the stainless steel ones. And this is what we use at home from now Another on. Another thing that I have switched into glass are the storage containers. So all our storage containers are now glass. I have completely eliminated plastic and only use glass or stainless steel to store our food. And actually it's a lot better for health wise. Too. Our biggest switch this year was from plastic toothbrushes to wooden toothbrushes. So these are the wooden brushes that we use now and you can actually use a sea wax too. The only thing that you need to remember about using wooden toothbrushes is that you need to keep them dry. So uh, after you use them, make sure you dry them up. I usually put them in a glass container with some cotton balls or tissue paper at the bottom to suck all the moist out of them. What happens is that they can get moldy if they are left moist if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments below and i would like you to share what do you do to reduce the use of plastic in your home hope you like this video remember to keep on creating peace at home for a peaceful world